Hello, Jeanette Muller here. This is video one of four about closing a business in Australia. We're starting with deregistration versus liquidation, but first some T's and C's. All information provided is my opinion. It's not to be taken as legal or accounting advice. If you need information, contact Solvers. We at the Solvers help businesses define their problems through the lens of cost benefit analysis, whilst identifying the best professional skills necessary to resolve key issues. So deregistration can occur in two ways, voluntary or involuntary. Voluntary first. This involves you paying a fee of $44, completing an ASIC form that primarily involves box ticking and confirming that the information is true and correct. That's it. Once accepted by ASIC, it is wiped from history. And unless there are any serious reasons to exhume the company, for example, fraud, it will remain buried. The box ticking involves confirming that members of the company agree with the deregistration, that the company is not trading, that it has assets worth less than $1,000, that it doesn't have any liabilities, and finally, it must not be involved in any legal proceedings. Thanks for listening. Get in touch with me at The Solvers to find out more.